What is going on, rockers? Welcome to Rocking with Robbie. If you're a fan of the band Stained, you're definitely going to want to give this video a like. Hit that subscribe button, notifications bell. You're going to want to stick around if you're a fan of Stained because we have a bunch of content coming out on them. And I cannot wait to talk about this newest news update. They just announced the release date for their newest album. And I cannot wait to jump into it. So let's get right into the video. So Stained released a song called Cycle of Hurting. And along with that, they announced the release date for Confessions of the Fallen, which is their newest album. This is incredibly exciting news. They haven't had a new album in 12 years years which is just crazy to think about i can't believe it we just did a news story about creed potentially putting out new music which is crazy if you want to check that out and stained putting out new music is absolutely unreal i never thought i'd see the day but then they released lowest in me and now this new track Oh my gosh, this is exciting stuff. I also have track reviews of both songs dropping in the next few days, so stick around for that as well if you want my thoughts on those songs. But for now, let's check out this Loudwire article and get into the details of this new album and when it drops. So I will link this Loudwire article in the description down below if you want to check it out. There's a lot of interesting stuff in this article, and we're going to read a little bit of it. So here we go. Commenting on the lyrical themes of the record, Lewis states, I'm still working through my issues, still working through my problems, and until then, I'll dream of better days. I hope that's how everybody feels right now. Better days are yet to come. And then right here it says, Confessions of the Fallen, the successor to Stain's self-titled 2011 record will be released on September 15th. So there's the release date. September 15th is when we get a brand new Stained album. This feels absolutely unreal. It feels like they're going back to their early grungier roots, which is really interesting. And I'm all for it. They have made more melodic music as well, but I have always had a soft spot in my heart for the grungier, really dirty sound that early Stained had, especially on that first record. So to see them kind of return to that and play with that formula again is really cool. But there are some really interesting details in this article that kind of make me feel like there is a little bit of experimentation on this album, so let's get into that as well. So the guitarist of Stained actually shared some interesting details in previous interviews about uh, the new album, so I wanted to read this little bit of the article. Speaking about the album with Loudwire Knights, uh, guitarist Mike Mashuk commented, Confessions of the Fallen is definitely different. One thing that Aaron wanted to experiment with he had a programmer that he had worked with and he had brought a few of the ideas to him and those guys took what the songs were and kind of interpreted them with more electronic elements in them. When we finally got our producer, he helped expand that even further. Although there's not a lot of that in Lowest In Me, Mashuk continues, there are some other songs that have more of an electronic element to them. A lot of that is like a guitar part I wrote played on a synthesizer, so it's not so far removed. It's just different textures and different sounds. So Stained has electronic elements on this new record. That will be really, really interesting to hear. Now, maybe it's more of a subtle thing to kind of build atmosphere. That's kind of what I think it's going to be. I don't think there's going to be like EDM songs or anything crazy like that. But I do think there will be some tasteful electronic elements to add a sense of atmosphere and interesting sounds to the album to add a sense of variety maybe a little bit of mystery and then if you mix that with some heavy riffs and kind of add that grunge on top of it that could be cool they could be using some modern flair with electronic elements but kind of also going back to their roots of that really dirty kind of primal grungy sound combine those two things together to make something kind of new and i'm all for that so wrapping up this article we have the track listing for the new album here's the album art by the way Looks cool, looks grungy, it looks dirty and kind of mysterious, but also atmospheric, which is cool. It really reminds me of Early Stained, so I'm excited. So with the first track, we have Lowest in Me, then Was Any of It Real, In This Condition, Here and Now, Out of Time, Cycle of Hurting, their newest song, The Fray, Better Days, Hate Me Too, and Confessions of the Fallen. I'm definitely getting a sense of contemplation with these titles. I do think this album is going to have a lot of emotion, a lot of self-reflection, and a lot of contemplation about heavy topics. I think it's going to be a heavy album lyrically. It's going to be a little bit on the darker side, especially if the two tracks that we have heard, uh, you know, if they're following suit with those tracks, I do think it will be a little bit on the sadder, heavier side, which I'm totally fine with. Uh, maybe even a little bit more on the angry side, which is interesting. Uh, Stained could have played it safe and went for more of the melodic stuff that would have, you know, it would have probably played out really well on the streaming platforms like Spotify and things like that, especially after Aaron Lewis's successful country career. 
uh, making country music, but they wanted to go back to the roots of Stained and really take that apart and redefine it, which I think is a really cool route to go down, especially since you haven't put out music in so long. That really excites me. And although this isn't the longest album with 10 tracks, if all 10 tracks are really high quality, then, you know, that'll be satisfying to me. If we get a full album, every song is good, even if it is 10 tracks, I'll be really happy at the end of the day because just getting a new good Stained album is just such an unreal concept, yet here we are. So on September 15th, we get a brand new Stained album after 12 years. A new Stained album that has electronic elements yet takes us back to the band's roots. This will be very, very interesting. I can't wait to see what Aaron Lewis has to say lyrically because I think he writes really fantastic lyrics a lot of the time. So I'm excited to see what they're saying with this new album, what they're trying to put out to the world. This is really exciting stuff. I love that they're going back to their grungier roots. I think that's really cool for a band to do that, kind of get back in touch with how the band started. I think this could be really, really special, and I think it's shaping up to be something just absolutely awesome. It's been a slightly underwhelming year for music, in my opinion, other than some major highlights like Sleep Token, for example, put out an incredible album. Can't wait for the new Polaris record. But there's something about Stain that just has me so excited. The concept of getting a grungy, you know, kind of like new metal-ish rock album just sounds really cool. We don't get a lot of that style of music anymore. And to see one of the bands that really started that in the late 90s, early 2000s come back and do that again, that's just really exciting. And it warms my heart because I have such a soft spot for that era of music. That is going to wrap it up for this news video. Make sure you stick around for my track reviews of the new Stain songs when that drops on the channel in the very near future. You're not going to want to miss that. Make sure you give this video a like, hit that subscribe button, notifications bell, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the track titles of this news update. What do you think of getting a new Stained album? Are you excited? Do you not care about the band anymore? Leave all your thoughts down in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Rock on!